Welcome to UEN Video. This is PowerPoint 2008 for the Mac. A quick tutorial on it. This is the third of the three baby steps. I want to show you the last thing to kind of finalize and create a totally done slideshow that you could use right in your class. I'm going to click right here on Transitions. This will also, it's also available through your formatting palette. There's a couple places you can find it there or under Slideshow Transitions in the in in the menus. Okay. I kind of like the way that this looks on the on the Mac quite a bit because it shows you a little bit better. You've got these different options like I want push and cover type ones. And I click on it and it'll actually preview it for me. Now the one of the things about these little transitions is and if I select one, it's actually applying that transition to that specific slide. I have more pages of those kinds of slides. I have 3D options, some kind of pretty wild and crazy ones. And I can do any of these that I want. But this options, what, what it's doing is it's applying that transition to that specific slide. So the only slide that would change that way is that one. So as it comes to that slide, that's the effect that it would use. But if I click on options, I actually have some more things that I can do. I can choose that cube up. I'm actually going to choose cube down. I prefer that one. Keep it on fast. And this is the one thing that I like too, is I can create a sound. It's pretty effective, typically. I'm going to use a click because it's a pretty subtle one. But it's a pretty effective tool that as you change slides, you're kind of changing topics to, to apply a sound so that gives another clue to the, the participants or the students that you're changing what you're doing. So that sound is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a click because it's a simple one. You have some options here for automatic so you can have an automatically running slideshow if you maybe during a parent-teacher conference you have one that just kind of rotates through with you know six or eight slides about information about your class. I'm going to hit apply would apply it to that specific slide, but I also have this option here that's so nice for me. I can click apply to all. So now that my entire slideshow has all those features applied to it. Our last thing we're going to do in these baby steps is go here to the slideshow and one of the options is to view this the show, which is command enter on the keyboard. This is the shortcut to it. I click that and it's going to take us take us to the slide presentation view. I have a second monitor so that's showing up on the second monitor. But you can see our slideshow. So that's all of the baby steps. We can go from there. Thank you for joining UEN Video Tutorials.